Now, maybe I shouldn't admit this, but every now and again, I forget to use a gray card when I'm doing a photo shoot. A gray card is super useful to make sure that the colors in your pictures are what they should be. If we take a picture of it at the time of the photo shoot and in the same lighting conditions, in Lightroom, we can then use the white balance tool and click on it. Lightroom knows it should be neutral gray, so it removes any color cast, and doing so means the color cast is also removed from everywhere else, and we have the picture looking pretty much as it did to our eyes. But what if we don't use a gray card at the time? Well, here's a really quick fix in Photoshop. So in Photoshop, we've got an image open, and in the top right-hand corner of the screen, we've got our adjustment layers. Now I'm going to choose either the levels or the curves and I say either because in both of those we have this auto button. Now I'm going to hold down the option key on Mac or alt key on Windows and click directly on that auto button and when I do that it brings up the auto color correction options and in here underneath algorithms we have a few choices. The one that we want to color correct our images is the third one down find dark and light colors. We're going to actually turn that one on. And what that is doing is tell Photoshop to look at the image, find the darkest part and make it black, the lightest part, make it white. And we can also take it a step further by turning on this little snap neutral midtone section just here. Now, once we've done that, we can see now behind all these boxes that our image has been color corrected. And if we want to use this now as a very quick way of color correcting lots of images in the future, we can save this as a default. So in the bottom, we've got a little checkbox put a little tick in there and then click OK. So from now on, if we have other images that we want to color correct, all we need to do is go to levels or curves. Now I'll say again, either, because once we've set the auto button in one, it'll be set to exactly the same in the other. But all we need to do now is just click on auto and we can see straight away that our image is color corrected. If at some point in the future, you wanted to change what this auto button did, you would just need to hold down the Option key on Mac, Alt key on Windows, click on Auto, and then change whatever option you wanted for the algorithm in here and save that as a default as well. But this is just one way that we can very quickly color correct images. We could even get it to color correct hundreds, if not thousands, by recording this as an action. Now, a while back, I did record a video showing you how you can manually color correct your images by finding the black white and gray points but this technique kind of goes through the same thing but a heck of a lot quicker now if you found the video useful give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to support this channel for free just click on the subscribe button but that's it we're done i'll catch you next time